Before working on the actual loading, I have to help Tafir settle down. I take him away from the trailer. In order to avoid putting pressure on the horse, I don't look straight at him. Tafir thinks he's about to be lunged again. I ask him to stop by turning his head towards me, but without trying to force the issue. The horse is so worked up that he may easily harm me, so all I ask is for him to keep a small distance. As soon as he does something right, I praise him. This situation may seem similar to what we saw with Boldina earlier, but there's a difference. Boldina was afraid of everything but me, so she wasn't very concerned with what I was doing. I constantly had to work on getting her attention. Tafir, on the other hand, is focused on me, and he's a little worried about what I'm going to do with him. At this stage, I just want to show him that I'm not going to hurt him and that he can relax. Tafir needs a break. He's been working for over an hour and he's tired, both mentally and physically. After spending quite some time leading, where the only demand is that he keeps a distance, Tafir begins to settle down. Until now, there has been no point in going back to the trailer. We have moved the partition aside in order to make the trailer more open. My posture shows the horse that I am calm and I avoid looking at the horse's hindquarters. For now, the purpose is just for him to relax. I want Tafir to think about the trailer, so I make sure he's looking into it. This is important, because when you're driving a horse, it will go in the direction it's thinking about. If you want the horse to enter the trailer, you first have to make sure that it's looking into it. I ask the horse to back up and come forward in order to establish a cue for these movements. When you work with the horse, it's important that you don't ask it to do something it might not be ready for. If you wait until you think it will do what you ask, the training will be a much more positive experience for both of you. Tafir is now less anxious about the trailer, so when I enter, he follows me. The reason why he does this so easily now is that the situation has changed. What mostly frightened him earlier was the pressure on his hindquarters and going in on his own. Tafir's still not ready to remain inside. I make no attempt of holding him there. The horse is too strong to be restrained against his will anyway. By allowing him to go out of the trailer when he needs to, he'll be more comfortable re-entering. When a horse yawns in a situation like this, it shows us that it's beginning to relax. 
This is the common reaction when a horse has been very tense. Nervous horses often clench their teeth and the yawning will loosen these tensions. It can therefore be a good sign when the horse yawns, but it can also reveal that it has been tense. Tafir enters the trailer easily now, but finds it hard to stay inside very long. I simply tell him to go back inside when he goes out, and soon he's able to remain in there for a longer period of time. When Bank changed his behavior, so did the horse. He has no problems getting Tafir into the trailer now. The loading problems aren't over. Bank will have to convince the horse that pressure on his hindquarters isn't dangerous. Until the horse is more comfortable with that, he won't be able to handle anyone closing the trailer behind him. This is something they will have to spend some time working on, but at least the situation has improved a lot.